Knife crime in the UK is on the way up. I've just seen some disturbing news this morning that proves it's getting worse. Hi, this is Everyday Prepper. Welcome to the channel. I saw an article this morning that a police officer had been stabbed. I haven't seen the, the whole uh, details yet. Uh, it's still breaking news. Um, but apparently the medics had to use, or some of his colleagues had to use a tourniquet to, uh, to save the guy. Now, it's not the first time that a police officer has been stabbed, but it's pretty rare. Um, and we're constantly seeing news reports of uh, gangs of literally 14-year-olds you know, roaming the streets and stabbing each other as well as um, members of the public who uh, decide to challenge them. And this is a worrying trend. It's been going on, it's been getting worse and worse for a number of years now. Uh, so I just thought I'd record a very, very quick video um, to uh, cover stab vests. I got myself a stab vest a while ago when I saw um, some gangs were sort of on the rise on the outskirts of my town. Uh, I'm out and about in the car all day and the last thing I want to do is, uh, you know, get surrounded by a bunch of bunch of youths. Um, so I got uh, a stab vest as a way to protect myself. Uh, now I'm wearing one right now and it's quite discreet um, under a nice big shirt. Uh, funny enough, I just just went out in the kitchen. Uh, my wife was making some sandwiches, and uh, I said to her, uh, "Oh, you, you wouldn't know that I've got a stab vest underneath this, would you?" And she had a bread knife in her hand and decided to try it out on me. What do you know? Uh, luckily, I'm still here. Uh, anyway, so I was just going to show you the show you the vest, and uh, you know, I mean, I know there's a lot of other news going on, and we're possibly all about to get uh, nuked. Um, but uh, aside from that, there's some other things to worry about as well. So I thought I'd cover this quickly. So this vest I got, um, I can't remember where I bought it from. It was from a some kind of military site. And I'll just show you how it works. So real simple, it's got some plates in the back. You can actually put thicker plates. You can put thicker plates in here. Um, probably sort of ballistic plates. Um, I mean, this is geared for the UK. It's, it's literally to protect against knife attacks. Um, so, you, you know, if somebody was to stab you under there, you've got, you're very vulnerable under the sides, but at front and back, you've got, you've got some good protection there. And so it's certainly a start. This also came with some uh, chainmail gloves. Uh, which you could put on and if and you know defend yourself against against a knife uh, they won't they won't cut through the uh, the knives won't cut through the gloves so um again pretty good pretty good gizmo to have with it and uh, it comes in a bag all nice and neat it folds up in there and it's fairly straightforward really so uh, luckily i haven't had to use it uh, but i keep it in the car with me just in case i can see if i'm ever out and about and i see things kicking off uh, then uh, I could just bung this on quickly and just chuck it underneath whatever else I'm wearing. Uh, you know, in the summer, if I'm just wearing a t-shirt, it's going to be a little bit obvious, but uh, there you go. And anyway, I thought I'd just cover that very quickly. Uh, possibly a good, good little item to have um, as a prepper. It's practical and uh, potentially useful. On the news front, keeping a very close eye on what's happening with uh, Israel and Iran. Uh, obviously, the um, UK government have uh, come out with statements saying that they believe that um, Israel attack on Iran is now imminent, despite the fact that Iran have said that they will unleash uh, a whole lot of trouble um, uh, as a retaliation if they do so. So um, keeping a close eye on that, and I'll probably do a video just covering that in a bit more detail um, and uh, from some different angles shortly. Uh, in the meantime, thanks very much for watching and stay prepared.